Hello, um, thank you very much for having me here today. It's very exciting. Uh, my name's Catherine. I'm one of the founders of Decoded. And I'm going to start by telling you a bit of a story about how we started, because um, we did start with a discussion and not a business plan, which is a bit controversial. We had to create a business plan eventually. Um, well, we were talking about this. You know, what is this? The digital dark arts, the ones and zeros, the code, the languages behind the screen that are sending instructions to computers. We were thinking to ourselves, how many of us in this room can confidently say that we understand the technologies behind the computer screen? There are so many myths, so many cliches, and I think this image really conjures it up, you know, that kind of fear about who actually kind of owns this knowledge. Surely you'd have to be an absolute genius to understand the languages behind the screen. You know, the, the perception, the myth is it's, you know, a guy, you know, in his basement, kind of hacking in, you know, to the Church of Scientology, um, and, you know, potentially your bank account. This idea that it's an other, that it can't possibly be you. But actually, when you think about it, and when I was thinking about it with my now co-founders, every single aspect of our lives is being radically transformed by technology. Every business is being radically transformed by technology. And there are businesses that have existed for 50 to 100 years that are looking at a really uncertain future in the next three years. And um, how can you innovate? How can, you, how can you be relevant? How can you realize the art of the possible? How can you create? Actually, how can you lead if you don't understand the ingredients that you're playing with in this kind of modern digital economy? Now, for me, I'd actually set up a business before that was selling apps and selling virtual worlds, and having this discussion was such a kind of moment, an epiphany, where I realized that I couldn't confidently say that I understood the technologies behind the screen in those languages. Even worse, and I have a confession to make, I did not study computer science. I studied languages. I studied Latin, ancient Greek, Mandarin, Japanese, pretty much anything that I thought looked really difficult. Um, so we thought, right, we're going to set ourselves a mission. A mission impossible, and it definitely was a mission impossible in 2011. Is it possible to take someone from zero skills, zero confidence, zero knowledge, right to a point where they feel so empowered about the technology behind, behind the screen that they could actually craft from scratch their own app, for example? But much more important, that they felt digital enlightenment. And this is a real mantra for us, because this is about empowerment. This is about knowledge. This is not about being a kind of passive observer in the digital world. It's about being an active participant, no matter who you are, what age you do, or what stage of your career. So it's been the most incredible journey, and I actually probably have to thank a lot of the people in this audience for making it happen. Um, you know, we were a kind of word of mouth grown, self-funded business, um, and it was definitely through that enlightenment and evangelism that it's happened that we taught over a thousand different businesses, from CEO to new joiner level, a real testimony that everybody feels excluded. Somebody else, you know, a small set of people have the knowledge, 35 different countries. This is a global, this is a global issue. And um, we got code on the curriculum in September. What an incredible thing to be able to say in the UK that we've done that. And we are open sourcing all our code curriculums, all our education, so any educator in the world can bring these skills alive in a classroom. So there are some things that we passionately believe and that we've observed. And uh, you might recognize this image, uh, the, the wonderful Tim Berners-Lee. This is for everyone. This was born from a place of good. This is for everyone. Banish the myths, banish the cliches. Everyone can be part of the digital world. There is also a war for talent. And um, this, is, <laughs> this is actually not the face of war, but it's the face of uh, an incredibly inspiring young boy that I met um, called Jordan Casey, 15-year-old coder, CEO of his own games company. Uh, he was being flown around the world uh, by Rovio, uh, talking about his incredible kind of coding skills and games company. And he spoke before me at the EU, which was terrifying because he was amazing. And um, it, it's incredible to see how many businesses are desperate for digital skills, digital literacy, coders, programmers, data scientists, and everyone is looking outside. Where can we get this talent? Fantastic. There is a new generation coming through that will have these skills. But I think we're missing something. There is the talent within. There is talent within all of us to be technologists. Because when you break it down, it's about creativity. It's about problem solving. It's about having persistence. And I wonder now if I asked how many of you in this room feel that you have those skills, I think a lot more hands would go up than my initial question. 
And um, thirdly, uh, this is the queue to the loo at a women's uh, at a technology conference. Um, so you'll see that um, that's the women's loo. Uh, so uh, there are some perks, you know, to being a woman in tech. But um, you know, <laughs> this is. This is kind of part of, you know, women must claim their digital vote. They are, they are opting out of technology in their droves at young ages and at career level. And uh, something we've definitely seen across all those different businesses is, um, this, is, there is a, it, this is a digital future. Everyone is looking for digital skills. They're highly prized, highly sought after. Women are as good computational thinkers as men. We know this. Um, so please don't op opt out. Claim your digital vote and, uh, you know, and maybe kind of um, find it a bit harder to get into the loo at the next kind of tech conference I go to. Thank you so much for your time. And um, I can't wait to debate.